And then we have Sn Austin as Sniper. And as Sniper, Austin might choose this match, match to unleash the boys' secret weapon, their Gerardi hoses. <laughs> the, okay. The Gerardi hose. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Coming Gerardi soon hose. to an update near you. What well, didn't didn't somebody at one point want like a Steam Workshop item that was just basically a catheter bag attached to his hip? Oh god! I'm pretty sure somebody came up with that. Oh man. Okay, go on. And uh, last but not least is a spy for the boys' team, and his name is Can Man. But however, the boys' team has never actually seen Can Man. It creeps them out really, and they are just thankful he's on their team. So Can Man, seen not or heard not seen or. Neither, maybe. I don't know. So, so, sort of like the reverse of a child. Okay, all right. So we've got we've got the boys. You hear about the girls. All right. Well, what's there to say? First, we have Green Cat, who is a bloody lovely addition to Bar Room Heroes and to this team of ferocious females. This Mexicali Rose is incredibly talented with killer instincts as Demolition Ch Chica. She was Demolition the Chica. Okay. Demolition right, Chica. Right. That is the official term. Can we shorten um, that at all? Can we call it a demo chick? Demo chick. I... Yeah, we could do that. Is, is, is that offensive? I'm not offended, but I'm not, uh, I'm not green cat. Okay, if it's offensive, suck it. All right, let's move on. All right. Um, or not. <laughs> sorry, I, I'm also trying to get in contact with Sud, who is apparently just deciding that he wants to... Uh, not um, be away anymore and try to get in on this action, but I he's see. a little late. Anyway, um, she was the inventor of Boyces versus Girls. This is Green Cat still, and none of this amazing mayhem would have been taken place without her creativity and thoughtfulness that she creates, that she contributes to the community on a daily basis. I screwed that one up, but there you go. So uh, this is all thanks to Green Cat and her wonderful creativity and whatnot. You know, I think Green Cat was a Green Cat. Somebody contacted me about this. And I am quite happy that it happened. I want to see the game get underway, but we got to talk about the rest of these players first. Yeah, we'll zoom all right along. Um, Pink Taco is the ladies' heavy. She is a fighter and an amazing woman. She's a natural leader and, as a team player, has all them skills in TF2 and her first love, CSS. She's been getting ready for some glorious killing time, and do not let this feisty female catch you crying, babies. Uh-huh. And uh, I just want to point out, for all the fans out there who who may have missed the joke here, that uh, her name is Pink Taco. Want to explain uh, that one for my grandma there? I no, I'm just gonna giggle <laughs> like a schoolboy. <laughs> all right, well, uh, Google at this one. Galvatron is the sultry soldier who will be flying high, and the next thing the guys will know is they are dead, looking at their bloodied body parts on the battlefield. Watch her. Watch for her this season in UGC as she and her sister, Doctor Strangelove, will be kicking ass and taking names with their team at USSR. Nice. Okay. They are an Iron Team, I believe. I've casted some of their games. They are United Sexy Something Robots, but anyway, they're awesome. And then so. Are they communist? I can only hope so. And so the medic then is Doctor Strangelove. She has some amazing TF2. TF2 skills because this fraud line never dies. This group of women appreciate her keen eyes and attentiveness she pays to the team throughout the match as her medicine keeps everyone on their toes to fight and and fit to fight. Ooh, alliteration. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's tough sometimes. It really is. It is. Um, engineer, lady after my own heart, is True, also known as True Engies. She enjoys a good chance to multitask and hearing them constantly hit dings in her pretty little ears. She served as the ladies' team leader and enjoyed every moment of working with this fine group of women. That one was actually pretty sweet. No sexual okay. innuendos there, anyway. No, no, none at all. Mm, yeah, nothing we can do with that. Um, we'll, we'll we'll find something later on. We will find something. All right, and next to Fritzel, this sassy spy is probably right behind you right now. She's super skilled and will cut your face. Try to keep your eye on this one. She is the most skilled lady spy you know, and if you don't know, you will learn quick, more quickly than you can say, Mondu Fritzel. She is a spy, for, or a platinum spy. I um, can't remember what team, but she is, yeah, very good. We saw some impressive work out of her in the second map. Next, we have Cherry Darling, who is a team scout. She is a clever lady from the south of the border and is freaking talented and lovable. She keeps the game fresh and fun with her jokes and also her lovely artwork. She created the ladies' avatars and designed nine of, for each lady and their class. Get a glimpse of some of the best TF2 art as, as they got on the web. Those are those are some nice avatars. Can I tell you, I'm looking at these right now. Pretty cute. Oh the my! Guys, the guys don't have any like. 
I mean, no guys so, drop so the ball. Dis, well, Dispellados or Dispellados uh, avatar is just a nope NG, and it looks kind of sexy actually. <laughs> Not gonna lie about that one. That's a pretty awesome avatar. But but the girls, I like the theme. I like the art. It was good. All right, so shout out to Cherry Darling. Some nice work right there. And then next we have Drink, the amazing lady under that pyro mask. And she is a wonderful team player and shows up with her flashy, flashy fireness that will blow you away or burn your ass to a crisp. She's a great addition to the BHR as well as this team of ladies and the BHR community loves having her. And last but not least is Danger. Better hold on to your head, mate, while we introduce you to the last player, last player Danger. Danger is the best female sniper that you'll ever steer clear of. You will know who you are in her crosshairs because you are dead, watching her wave at you while you respawn and cry to your mom. She's so kind, she'll save a bullet for you, though. So there Aww. we go. That is the ladies' team. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to this game, then. Uh, hopefully it does start pretty soon. I'm going to go ahead and cut the recording now, but we are going to continue streaming. And wait for them to start playing their boys versus girls game. I wonder how many people are watching right now. How many people are watching stream? Let us know, because uh, if, if people ain't watching yet, they should be. It is boys versus ladies. And it's going to be a pretty good game. Indeed. And they're just looking to have fun right here. And I don't know if you know, but this is all actually for fun and charity. The winner of the... Okay, so the loser will donate 60%... Oh, how does it go? There's donations going on right now, and the okay. um, winner's team will get 60% of the uh, donations, um, and the loser's team will get 40% of the donations going to their cause. And for the causes, the female team is the Susan, Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure, and the men's uh, charity is the Testicular Cancer Society. So, two really huh. good charities. And uh, once we get that link for that uh, chip in, I will post that as soon as I can. Let me see if I can get that. Okay, well, actually, game's starting right now. So we did, of course, just talk about the charities, and I am going to explain one more time. As this game gets underway between the boys and the girls, boys, of course, in the, I want to say, in the red, girls in the blue. Um, but yes, this is for charity, and so whoever wins actually gets 60% of the prize money donated to their favorite charity, and whoever loses only gets the remaining 40% donated. Um, the charities are, I believe, both for cancer societies, uh, breast cancer and testicular cancer, am I right? So, uh... You're right. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Glad to see that we can get some, some attention and some charity donations from the TF2 community. Of course, we already knew that, that the TF2 community was awesome. We're just going to see how much more awesome. And it looks like the girls are, um... Cleaning up hold off is, this uh, capture. Cleaning... cleaning. <laughs> Destroying <laughs> is another hold term up. you may want to use. Hold up. So you just said the girls were cleaning up? Is that what I heard? Oh, no! I Oh, man! <laughs> really, Sal? We, yeah, we can play did. this. We can do you this. That. We oh, can we play. Will do this. Okay. We will do this. Anyway, the girls managing to cap mid first, and time is ticking away, so really dominant coming out there, looking really good. Also got that Uber. Dr. Strangelove is going to be milking that for a while, spy in on her, but not going to be able to do anything with that. Yeah, the question, I think, is going to be um, how fast does the crits get up for Jester, because he is using the crits Krieg. Uh, they're going to want to try and force the Uber out of Dr. Strangelove or kill her, of course, and that will uh, that will make this Crits Krieg so much more effective. Dr. Strangelove actually at 37 health right now, really low on health, um, does not want to pop the Uber. Holding it like a boss. Yeah, nice hold right pretty there. Pretty and and I got to say that her team is keeping her quite well protected from spies, anything else that could have damaged her. So she's getting back up into the, uh, into the hundreds, very close to maximum health again, not having to pop the Uber, but the boys are just marching right in. To, uh, to secure the middle point, and here, here comes, comes the Uber now. They're just biding there their is. time, and there we go. Ubering onto the point, clearing it off, going to be able to take it back, but they really need to get these frags right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Crits Creek coming in. I don't think this point's going to get captured anytime soon, because Hydro Kaleido here, oh. taking out some players. There he goes. No cap for so you, close. ladies. No cap for you. So the thing is, though, look at the, how many players the boys are losing here. Despite that crits Krieg, they really didn't do a lot of damage. And um, there you go. The ladies do manage to recapture Kip. Like I said, ladies take mid. Oh, and there goes our red demo man, too, to a nice snipe from uh, from Danger on the girls. So you you said she was a good sniper, and I, I guess I'll have to believe you. If we want to talk about snipers, uh, Austin for the boys team is wrecking the Huntsman right now and also it looks really, really scary um, with some tattoos, but um, I'm not sure about that choice right here on Harvest. Um, I guess yeah, we could talk about well, serious things. I, I will say that 
that sometimes the choice to use the Huntsman is kind of an admission that the other sniper is better at point-and-click games. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm just better at sniping, and so it's like, okay, well, I can't take you on in a head-to-head -head sniper fight, so instead I'll run around with the Huntsman and try to get up close to enemy players. You can still deal a lot of damage with the Huntsman, but uh, you, like you said, Danger's a good sniper, and so it could just be that he doesn't really want to deal with that, or it could just be that he's trying to have some fun and lull you ladies into a false sense of security. Uh, low. Oh. Nice backstab right there from Canman. Both teams do have Uber ready to go, and uh, it is going to be crits once again from the red team. They are popping out here, and ooh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, they don't want to lose this heavy here. He's going to be the main person. There we go. He does go down. Murder Chan taken from behind by the soldier. Oh no! But the um, crits. The crits. It's going to come in. I think. Doctor Strange will actually probably... healing the spy for a bit, and yeah, Juster J is over on the side behind the pumpkin. Running yeah, away. They actually got they, they got in a weird position here. Jester really should have popped that crits earlier, but he did hold on to it, and I guess they can still pop it pretty soon. Seize the medic, they really there you go, they take down that med right away, Doctor Strangelove. Ooh. Uh apparently she did not enjoy life all that much. Riding the atomic crit sticky all the way down to earth and exploding into a shower of medic gibbs. Um, so we are gonna see, of course, the boys holding on to that point for a little while longer. They've got to catch up in the time though or else they are going to start losing the round. Do you know what they're playing to? Are they playing the three caps, four? They are playing until Cancer is defeated, so uh, oh, maybe okay. he'd be here okay. for a while. Um, but no, I know, do not know. Reddit cures Cancer like once a week or so, I'm That's told. That's true. So, so it should be good there. And there goes our spy using that dead ringer, though. So uh, we're going to have to watch that, that blue spy, see how she does, because I've heard, I, I've heard good things. Somebody told me this was a good spy. Yes, she was very impressive in the second Oops. map on Badwater. Could, did a lot of work right there. Just went down to an arrow there from Austin, so maybe not the best work, but looks like it's... Girls are going back for the point right now, but gonna have a hard time with that flaming, uh... That flaming sniper, that was not a derogatory insult. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> no, you're not, you're not anyway. trying to call him, uh, you're not trying to allege that he is a homosexual, are you? Because let me tell you Absolutely right now, not. there's nothing wrong with that, Kip. And if you think there's something wrong with that, I, well... I, but the... Uh, Wow, we. <laughs> but have I got words for you? Okay. You, I've got words you for and you. Your prejudices. Here's here's a word for you. Girls are capping point right now. There That's we go. True. Less than a minute left. Actually, times are about even right here. Wow, Austin though. Austin less than three. Not sure what less than three is. I'm just kidding. It's a heart. I knew that, Probably. guys. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, wow, Austin doing an amazing job as a huntsman right now, just running around being a very close range, high damage dealer with that uh, bow and arrow. Finally taken down, not able to cap the point yet, so the girls do still hold on to it. They may be able to win this round, I think, uh, as Danger tries to take a headshot here at the soldier. Taking a hit from the rocket, but, you know, long range rockets don't do a heck of a lot of damage, which is just like real life, right? Yeah, totally. That's, that's why uh, that's why in World War II you saw everybody trying to get in really close to each other with bazookas so they could finish each other off. Uh, rocket jumping was also a thing that happened quite a bit. Uh, they say that Hitler was pretty good at air strafing, but apparently Churchill was a lot better. Ooh. Or so I'm told. I, I, I really think it was all about Lenin right there. You know, that might be true. Lenin, uh, Lenin was actually like a really, really beast MGE player. Okay, I we need to stop. We now. are. We just <laughs> missed... Um, Dr. Strangel had Uber and she taunted on the point. It was miraculous and the girls are still holding it. Um, boys are going to have to pull something together if they want this to carry on. But Pyra on the point going down. Oh, there's a heavy on the point, but big uh, big stickies coming in there. And actually... Boys recapturing. They're going to have to deal with wow. this soldier up here. But uh, they're, they're able to deal a lot of damage. Soldier jumping down trying to stop this. It is going to be in double overtime in just a minute. Soldier can't get it, but the medic does run in here. Uh, Blue Med trying oh, her best, and she can't. Team what? Manly taking the first round after it looked really dominant by the ladies. But, you know, that's the way Harvest goes sometimes. Uh, got down to the wire there, and <laughs> my heart. <laughs> Apparently, everybody is, uh, is feeling the tension riding on this game. Ooh, oh boy. So spy girls... versus spy action here. I'm watching on the left-hand side for the for the boys anyway, and they just kind of pass right by each other. Neither one of them wanted to do any damage. Uh, they uh, had that um, Warsaw Pact. What, are are we still making World War Two jokes? I thought we were. I'm sorry. Were we I, not? Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm I'm cool with that. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I'm I'm just sitting here watching Can Man get behind enemy lines right now, and uh, he does spot 
And this is a he, by the way. We were watching the boys team. I, I know what I'm talking about. He does spot that demo man, but not really going to do anything about it right now. As the boys are capturing the point. Going to go for a stab on the med. Gets, I'm sorry, not on the med, on the sniper. Gets himself covered in urine, though. Um, which is kind of an impressive feat for a girl to have done, isn't it? I have no comment. <laughs> Pink Taco, though, uh, appropriately, right after that. Doing some nice work right there, taking down Jester J. He was really close to Uber right there. Meanwhile, Dr. Strangelove does have an Uber, and they're pushing onto the point. Spy behind them, but they will be able to spot it out. So there is going to be an Uber on the point whenever they want it. This is looking pretty good for girls right now. Looking a very dominant, taking down most of the boys' team. Yeah, and the boys only held on to that point for about 23 seconds. So the girls Nothing. will have an easy time of catching up, I think. Um, just like they're trying to catch up to, you know, boys' wages in the workplace. Yeah, sex discrimination, still a real thing, people. And it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, if only. You know what is hilarious is the time is definitely ticking down right there. Boys are not looking very unified in their pushes. Uh, actually, don't even see where they are. Jester is... Even is um, the medic. Uh, oh! oh! I even missed it on camera because oh. I'm terrible, but that was a nice stab there by the gentlemen of Team Fortress 2, well, and they are going to try and cap this. Good thing you have a lady camera woman who just got the uh, frizzle backstab on Murder Chan and also that other backstab. But yes, indeed, boys will be able to push in and cap right there. And Austin is still trying to work on his, uh, his head shooting with the bow and arrow. Not quite able to hit this scout, though. Scouts are really tough to hit with that bow and arrow. I tell you, though, when you do hit one, it just feels so good. Ooh, look at those crits come in from Hydro Kalido. Huge K's going down right there. Yeah, Pat, sadly, I missed that one on camera, too. We do have <laughs> Irish trying to hit the med. Uh, not able to quite kill her. So Dr. Strangelove will be sitting in the spawn building the Uber. Thing is, she's going to have to be building against Jester, who's still running that crits. And um, I really, I think she should try running a crits of her own, countering the... Uh, Countering the crates of the red team, they, they need to build the crates, I think, because it builds faster than the regular Uber. They need something to change things up. You know, she was pulling out that Uber saw a lot. It looks like she wanted to build with that, but um, she was pulling it out the soldier on the roof, so not able to get that charge that way. So she did go down there, so that's actually going to buy Jester J a huge advantage. So boys um, looking actually pretty good right now. They got a nice little setup right by the um, point, too, with that dispenser and a mini sentry guarding the skies. So looking very nice right here with their positioning. Yeah, um, boys are pretty good at these TF2 tactics, <laughs> I gotta say. And Hydro is gonna have to back out, but he is gonna pop the crits, taking down the heavy. There you go. We'll take that guy down. Trying to hit some other players here as well, but he's down to 11 health. Medic keeping the heal beam on him. But oh. there goes Jester. Nice shot from Danger to take down that med, and now Hydro down as well. So I think the girls are gonna try their best to finish this off. Nice punch by True. And you oh. know, when you say hit like a girl, apparently. It actually means uh, means it's kind of a compliment. Yeah, girls hit hard. I had a sister growing up. We can be a beasts. Anyway, girls definitely coming back and capping it there and doing some nice work. Galvatron in the middle, defending right there with some rockets. Now Pink Taco's on the oh, point. Oh no! I just saw. Uh, so Hydro, the demo man for Red Team, did get the kill on the med, but but the reason for that is that uh, the pyro drink actually air blasted a sticky into the med. It always sucks when you do something like that. Uh, it's always an accident, but um, kind of hilarious. Also kind of hilarious, a spy running into Austin's uh, huntsman, and he was not able to get that shot off into his head. Just got that on my cam, so it should be fun to see. Um, huntsman, great for taking out mini sentries. Did you know that? Yes, actually. It is uh, one of the preferred methods of taking down those mini sentries, that or a single sticky bomb laid at its feet. Uh, so, Kip, are we having like a, a battle of the caster sexes here as well? Are we going to see who the who the better Ooh. cameraman or woman is Ooh. that we're doing? I think we are. Okay, well, we're we'll both the... uploading this to YouTube then. Where's the dual music? We need that going on right here. What, like dueling banjos? No, well, that or the challenge to a duel. The oh. dun -dun -dun -dun. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's, that's, that, well, that's, that that's was, what it was. Yeah, there we go. Congratulations. All right, well, we're watching Team Fortress 2 here, of course. Sal versus Kip, boys versus girls. And right now, 
It is actually another really, really close round. We've gotten down to about both teams having 40 seconds left on the clock again. The girls in control of the point right now, but the boys trying to capture, and they probably will. Jester does have that crits ready to go. Ooh, and that does mean we're good. probably mm, probably going to see... Um, where is the demo man? Uh-oh, I don't see the demo man. So Hydro is Jester? down. Jester is actually yeah, retreating. So Jester is going to be waiting for his demo man. Uh, once Hydra... Oh, and there goes Dr. Strangelove. Not good for the girls here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that once our demo man has respawned, he is going to take this Kritzkrieg and destroy people with it. Austin destroying people right now on the point. Gotta love that Huntsman Sniper. Where is... There we go, Hydro. Gotta find that guy. Girls cap the point right now, Kip, so it's still close. It is so close right now, but oh man, Drunk Nerds, the pirate doing some work with that extinguisher. Not able to get everybody on the point, though. Here comes the crits. There's a heavy in the corner. The demo didn't see. Is he going to be able to get him? He does. Oh, oh. my goodness. And th Pink that was a nice taco step, going though. down, but oh my goodness. Galvatron coming in and able to take him out, so girls still have possession of the point. About 15 seconds left. Jesus. Kaboom. Galvatron get a nice little kill on Austin there, and so no Huntsman Sniper to completely destroy people. Uh, she will have to tr retreat here, but the boys are back on the point again with a heavy scout running in, trying to get the kill, but cannot do it. And the demo man walks with the back facing him. She does get the kill. Now the blue heavy coming in. We are almost in double overtime again here as the boys need to capture the point if they want to win this round. Um, it is going to be uber oh. battles here. And oh, oh nice kill God. by Jester. He takes down that blue med. So uh, we need the girls to walk in here and get some time on the point right now, or that will be another round in favor of the boys. And there you go. Oh, wow. I really thought the girls had that. I really thought the girls had that. Looking so strong right there. Oh, man. You know, yeah, and they've had... It can be a little demoralizing when you've got, you've had two really, really close rounds and you've lost both of them. But you know what? Um, we'll see what happens here. They're saying stopwatch never started, but, of course, this is King of the Hill. You don't have stopwatch in, in King of the Hill. Well, that's why I never started, because so, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Or something like that. Anyway. Frizzle in a little bit of trouble here, getting chased down by the Pyro, but I think the Pyro's kind of uh, had some ADD and decided not to chase her after all. Now taking an overheal from that med. Frizzle. And they really, they don't realize. Gets the Fire. stab. Go. Yes. Nice stab, Frizzle. That's my girl. And I'm going to pull out a few You Go Girls before the night is over. Do not worry. Here's coming in on the medic. Let's see if she can get um, Jester no. J. No, Dead Ring's out of that situation. Yeah, so she'll, she'll get away for now, but Jester is still alive and actually with a significant uber advantage over Dr. Strangelove. Uh, and, and of course, it's probably going to be a crits again. Has Dr. Strangelove ever tried swapping to the crits? Because I'm telling you, it's probably something that needs to happen. The boys are in possession of the point once again, um, if I'm saying that right. The control point is being and the girls are uh, are just having their butts handed to them right now, kind of oh. face down on the floor Maybe here, not looking too they're, good. They're busy raising your children and doing your laundry and setting up your home and also keeping a full-time job. Yeah, for which they are not paid enough, let me tell you. <laughs> so how, how much are you paid for YouTube right now, Kip? Oh, just, just wondering. I'm paid in smiley faces and criticism. Ah, ah. Course. How much are you paid, Sal? Oh wait, you have a real job, don't you? I I do, and I'm also paid for YouTube. So what? best of both worlds. Yeah, wait, I know, right? What? I have a I have a YouTube partnership. How does mm -hmm. one get that? Oh, wait, is that why we have to watch commercials uh, well, to watch your stuff? Because you sold yeah, out? Because you're a sellout? Yeah, I sold. I I did, and uh, it's also ah, because okay. I'm a man, and people want to give me money. Mm, all right. That's hey, just look how it's how the world works. Look as an Uber. Um, Doctor Strangelove does. Oh no! Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Never mind. Um, and yet the girl's holding on to the point. Yeah, Jester doesn't doing quite some have his crits nice ready yet. Work. Green Cat doing some great demo stuff on the point. Oh, actually does just go down there by Murder Chan. His bullets of love found her spawn point. Oh, <laughs> oh using that, that bio. Yeah, those bios. I'll have to post them in the info. They were really, really well written. Yeah, they, I, I gotta tell you, they were hilarious. I'll try and put them in the description, too, if you can send me that link uh, to this video. Oh, oh Austin! Oh. With the flaming arrow to the head, and gonna go for a shot there on the med as well. Dr. Strangelove not realizing he is right there. Um, <laughs> no way, Austin. No way. But, yeah, uh, you know, that, that's trying... hacks. Who would hacks and uh, cheat in a, a charity match? Come on, who does that, Austin? <laughs> I'm not sure there is a Huntsman. There probably is. There's probably a Huntsman hacks out there somewhere. Um, going for the Jurati, throwing the PP around. 
And there you go. It's going to be green capping taken out. A lot of players taken out. But the girls are still capping, nonetheless. Um, it's It's been the story of the day here. And that's just kind of how... Oh, nice shot there by Danger. That's kind of how this game goes on Harvest especially. You can think you've got a big advantage, and all of a sudden it just gets thrown away because it's like a heavy or something on the point, and you can't dislodge him. Or her. Or her. Yeah, or there her. you go. Or her. See, I'm not sexist. Uh, I mean, maybe I am, but... Here gonna, comes the... Is this a crits? It is. This is the first crits oh we've my seen goodness. out of the ladies. They take down drunk nerds. Oh, and what a shot on the Irish. So that's uh, that's going to be some great shots by the ladies there Beautiful. using the crits Krieg. Just when you least mm -hmm. expect it, Dr. Strangelove pulling that out, doing a nice job clearing off the point. The girls will be able to hold on to that and uh, work that away. But oh, here comes the crits from the boys. Popped in the demo again. Hydro going big. Oh, and they do manage to find out Dr. Strangelove. So she goes down. Danger goes down. Oh, not looking great for the girls right now. But they get, did get a lot of time on the point right there. So we're talking about boys versus girls, and, and you you keep giving me so much ammunition, like with the phrase really? going down constantly. Oh. It's, it's just, it's a beautiful thing, Kip, I gotta say. I, wow. This is hey, why no, I, I mean, don't... I don't mind. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right. Um, but no, we are, uh, we have the boys holding the point right now. It's going to be heavy medic versus heavy, but the spy comes in and evens that one up. Um, still, Spy probably going to get caught out here for a little while. It's going to be um, Frizzle, of course, a.k.a. Mrs. Frizzle. Are we talking about, like, magic school bus stuff here? Uh, I don't know. She was pretty awesome, so. and I, Frizzle's pretty awesome, so um, maybe. Well, we got a Crits Creek going off once again by the boys, taking down Green Cat. Uh, it's the only kill it's gotten so far, though. Uh, girls actually staying. Oh, never mind. That's like two or three more kills right there. Uh, Hydro Kaleido doing his best, and yet he is taken down. No kill on the med right now. Does she still have a crits Krieg? Yes, she does. Uh, not quite able to get it up to 100% yet. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, oh, this is the worst shot I've ever is. done. Pretty much. Um, oh, and so there we go. Dr. Strangelove does have the crits right now, but nobody around. Under one minute left for both of the teams right now on the point. We got that Huntsman on the point being super, super pissed. Um, but Dr. Strangelove should be able to push out soon. I would suggest taking in De uh, Green Cat, her demo, who's been very good, but just hasn't been able to get a lot of crits opportunities yet. Uh, it looks like it may be, uh, uh, may be a heavy crits. Looks uh... like Soldier. Oh, eh? maybe, actually. Well, I don't know. Oh, oh never mind. They, waited they were in too place, long. They to use, and yeah, that's what happens. Uh... Nice double stab, though. And once again, the ladies showing they do have what it takes in the spy department's very good. You know, I kind of wish we had those those uh, female skins for TF2 uh, because I remember yeah. at one point I, at one point that was a serious project. It just seems to have disappeared. Uh, Ten seconds left on the point for the boys, but the girls are capping or at least attempting to. Got to take down the soldier, but they do. And now Scout attempting to recapture. This is it's it's starting to look like the boys may win 3-0 in a shutout despite I don't know. the fact that these were I mean these are close rounds but if the boys can recapture that that could be it uh, they're saying it's best three of five and they are recapturing oh right boy. now Kip they're they're gonna they, they might do it oh this is going so close girls got to get in there there's still still blue presence around the point they just need to get in there here comes Frizzle spine no, the point she's going to be able to stop right. it oh but here comes the crits oh and that's it. The boys Damn. take it three to zero, and this is of course the third map. By the way, I didn't Damn. get cast the first two maps. Apparently, that was going to be Kip and Sud. I think, right? You two casted yep, them. We've got that somewhere on our Twitch uh, XTV site. Nice. Okay, so this was an XTV thing. Well, today it's not been an XTV production here. It's actually been a Sal TV production. So I do apologize. Uh, this was this kind of last minute here. I was just told suddenly that hey, there's this thing going on. But uh, yeah, that was a very good game between the boy uh, between between the boys and the girls. Kip, any last thoughts? Oh, uh, thanks for jumping in at the last minute. But uh, you would have been in a loop had you not gone out of the country. That's all I'm saying. I'm so sorry. You um, know, sometimes sometimes you got to go to a land and uh, you know like shoutcast TF2 and make a documentary. So you know, just, yeah, just do, with do all the your, important work. With all your YouTube's dollars, I guess you can afford that. <laughs> no, it's actually with the oil dollars. But you know, whatever. Uh, and anyway, you sell out you in whatever way you need to yeah. sell. Yes, exactly. Somebody's got to pay the bills around here. So it's uh, <laughs> it's been awesome, ladies and gentlemen. You have been watching <laughs> Sal TV and uh, the wonderful. No, you've been watching of, uh... Kip TV. And... <laughs> okay, okay, whatever. Yeah, you go. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, guys. And I'm gonna get the last word. Peace out. Oh, thanks, Kip. <laughs> <laughs> nice last words there, Kip. That was wonderful. <laughs> I actually kept recording just.